This is lesson six in the Psychology of Relationships course. In this lesson, you will learn about the equity theory of relationships. Equity theory says that people feel happier in relationships where they feel that what they are putting into a relationship is roughly equal to what they're getting out of it. It differs from social exchange theory because it says that people do not try to maximize their rewards, but instead try to achieve equity in the relationship. Equity theory argues that people feel dissatisfied with the relationship if they feel that they are under benefiting and guilty if they are over benefiting. So what evidence is there for equity theory? Hatfield found that people were happy in relationships if they felt it was equal in terms of costs and benefits for each partner. They also found that over benefited partners felt guilty and uncomfortable. Stafford and Canary found that people were more satisfied in their relationship if they thought it was equitable in terms of sharing tasks, how much effort they put in, and positive communication. Are there any issues with equity theory? Usman argued that some people are more concerned about equity in a relationship than others. Benevolence and joy contributing to a relationship and are not interested in what they can get out of it. Equity sensitives like things to be equal in a relationship, and entitled like to over-benefit in a relationship. This contradicts equity theory and the view that everyone likes to have an equitable relationship. Now that you've learned about equity theory, you can go on to the next lesson where you will learn about the investment model of relationships.